Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So thanks for tuning in again and joining me today. So for today's vlog, um, just to get away from all the coronavirus bits and pieces that's going on, I'm going to be doing some craft with you. So um, what I've got is a bit few craft bits. I'm going to show you what I do on a, on a weekly basis um, developing different craft products. So I design things like greetings cards. Um, I started doing greetings cards about uh, two years ago now. Um, but over the last sort of three or four months, I started to do, doing gift boxes, gift bags, um, notebooks, and I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do today, and I'm going to show you a couple of other things in a few future vlogs as well. So, um, in terms of what I use, um, I use the Forba custom machine, um, which I will show you how to use in a second. I use the Sizzix um, Big Shot Plus, which is this bad boy here. Um, brilliant, brilliant machine, um, and I would highly recommend all the scissors products. I use a couple of other scissors products as well for my craft, so I'll show you them shortly. Um, but this is absolutely fantastic. They're a great quality range, um, and they're really great for, for doing exactly what you need in terms of crafting and bits and pieces. Um, so I'll give it to the products. I have got a bit of a script which I'm reading from, just so I've got some notes so I can cover everything for you guys, or content I want to cover. So, do forgive me glancing up and down, um, just to make sure I get everything in for you guys to get the best content out there. So, I've got the cover, um, the machine. I've also got lots of different dies. So, these are the metal dies which I use. I'll just bring that to the camera a bit further so you can see. Hopefully, that focused. So that is the example of the die that I use, and again, I'll show you actually how I use them in a second. So in terms of where I get things from, so the card I get from a number of different places. Um, the, my favourite card that I use is the Sizzix card. This is really good quality stuff. This is really great for, um, for cutting things out, um, and also for making the boxes and quite sturdy cards was quite good for the physical box as well, really, really recommend that. Um, also, um, I'm very lucky, um, obviously not anymore because they're very shut down because of the coronavirus, um, but when I can, I also get a lot of cards, particularly white card from my local market, there's a fabulous store in there, which I go and get card from. Um, Hobbycraft, I use quite a lot for stuff, um, particularly for the actual card, um, I've got one here somewhere, here it is. Um, Copy make the card, which I'll show you in a second. That's all from Home Craft. When they've got sales on, they've got some great offers there. So do look out for that. Um, also, on uh, the range I use, um, particularly for the dies, um, and they do um, a lot of what we call the dinky dies. I haven't got any here now, but things that I use like to create. Again, I'll come a little bit further so you can see. Hopefully, this is focused. Um, so, you can see this one here. Um, we call dinky dies. They are what I use and get from the range, um, and there's some great stuff there. Really affordable prices. Um, I mean, a lot of the stuff I get comes from online places like Amazon, eBay. Um, they have some great stuff there, so have a look on it. If you are looking to start doing some craft during the time when everyone's at home, self isolating, um, online is a great place to be looking at to start to get some products together. Um, obviously, it's a difficult time to be buying stuff out, so it's very difficult to get stuff online. Also, uh, we don't know how far the situation is going to go, but hopefully, some of the content I'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks will give you some inspiration, a little bit like hearty, and give you something to, to enjoy watching, um, even if you can't do it as of now, straight away. Hopefully, you can do some of this in the future, and I hope you really do enjoy watching it. So, um, now we're going to have a look at actually moving on to look at actually designing some physical products. Okay guys, so before I start to show you actually how to do things, I did forget my last bit to show you the gift bag. So here is the, the gift bag which I use. Again, I'll come round just so you can see a little bit about what it is. Okay, so again, these dice here are all the dinky dice that we use. Um, and what I've used here is a background of just white card. I mean, I've cut opposite of yellow and blue and stuck them on each other and kept all the opposites for the three layers of. 
Um, I'm not going to be covering actually making that in this video, that will be covering it shortly on another video. So, what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to make one of the cards that I do. So, what we are going to start off with is the soldiers. So, what we have here is three dies for the three soldiers and what we're going to actually do is we're going to actually build them up so we use different parts we're going to cut each each one each soldier is going to be cut out three times okay and the reason that is is that we're going to use different bits from each card piece to build onto the soldier so we need three different colors here Okay, so we need the um, the red card. Okay, we need the white card, so the cream card. This one is, and we also need the black card. So we're going to start off by cutting the three soldiers on each card. So we can place the using the different cutting plates. So to so use scissors we need the grey one, that's what these are called, um, the green one and then two of the white ones here and the scissors just put on the floor. So, to start off with, we are going to place the red card onto the discussing plates. So the card always goes on first. And then we're going to take the dice and we're going to place each of them onto the card. It doesn't matter where they go because these are actually going to be cut. We're going to actually use the shapes that come out. So we're going to place these onto the cutting mat. Okay, and then I'm just going to show you very beautifully because you can obviously take a lot more time over this. So these will now basically be cut. using the cutter. So it's usually best to go a couple of times back in two to actually get the die to cut into the paper or card. Okay, so once we're done, we're going to now take these out of the dies. So these ones, some dies are better than others, where they fall straight out like so, other ones are a little bit more tricky to get out, so we're quite lucky with these. So we have the three red ones, okay, and now we're going to do exactly the same with the cream and the, the black. onto the card. So we're literally going to use here a piece of white card. What you can do is mount it onto something else and then stick that card onto the card. But today we're just going to put these straight onto the card using the old prick stick glue. So we will fold the card in half. Okay. So we're going to take each of the soldiers okay, and they're going to go at the bottom of the card all lined up with each other. So again, we'll pop a little bit of glue on. Start with the centre one, and then you can make sure the other two are lined up either side.
So there you have them three all ready to go. So what you can do now, it's hang up and do at the moment, but you can put some sort of message, happy birthday, um, or anything you want using, different die cuts or just stickers that were off the internet, you could print out. I often print stuff out off the internet or use Canva, which is great software to use on your phone to design something to go on the top. So you could do that um, to add some sort of message on to there. So that is the soldier card. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do for this video is look at how to design a gift bag. So I've actually prepared some of this from earlier, so we have to cut it out. So um, I'll just show you, this is the die that I am using, which I got offline. It's a really fancy um, pattern of different colours of flowers. So I cut this out and this is what it comes out like. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pink card, okay, and I'm going to line it up with the print. I'm going to use my surface as a protector. So then I'm going to just use my, my, my cutting pen to just mark out the size of the background that I need. I'm going to put a quick score down there, okay, and a quick score across there. So now I'm going to use the good tea and pop that to size. Okay, so now I'm going to just take the pattern and again I'll just use this as a surface. Okay, now these ones um, are a little bit difficult because you've got the whole pattern and you've got gaps in the pattern, so you can sort of cover the whole surface with the glue to make sure that it sticks. So So now we're going to take our pink card, our dark pink card, and we're going to line this pattern up on the card that we just cut. So once we have our pattern onto our cards, finally what we can do, we can take our bag, again a bit of glue on the back of that, Again, you can take a lot more time over this, just for demonstration. So there you have the bag there. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Lots more craft and bits and pieces coming over the next couple of weeks. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Let's try and smash 50 likes for this video. And don't forget to leave a comment. And if you've got any questions or anything, um, let me know what you're doing. Um, leave me a comment. Um, and we'll see you next time.